Welcome back everyone, today we are going to get some elemental mercury from mercury tilt switches. These are 10 tilt switches and you should definitely not try this at home, because mercury and its vapors are toxic. For our own safety, we are using an HG rated gas mask filter and some nitrile gloves. I have a flask that already contains some mercury and we wanted to know how much mercury each switch contains. Therefore, the glass was weighed beforehand. To get out the mercury, the tilt switch was snapped open using a pair of pliers. You have to be very careful while doing this, because it is possible that the entire ampule is just going to shatter, spilling mercury everywhere. Therefore we also had this plastic tray below everything, just in case some mercury spilled. Transferring it to the bottle is easy. You just have to tilt the mercury switch and to tap it lightly. Mercury is extremely heavy, about 13.5 grams per milliliter, and therefore it will come right out if you just tap the ampule. The bottle was capped and we weighed it again. It turns out that this one switch contained 11.4 grams of mercury. And here's why you should use a plastic container while dealing with mercury. It really likes to spill everywhere while transferring it from one container to another because it's really heavy and it likes to spill. One by one the switches were opened and emptied. It didn't take long. One of the switches decided to break completely at the top and this could happen to the entire switch. If it breaks, it could end up breaking down to the bottom, just spilling the mercury while you're opening the switch and you don't want the mercury around in your house or even in your lab floor. In the end, the bottle was weighed again. It weighed approximately 109 grams, which means that one switch contains about 10.9 grams. These glass things still contain some droplets of elemental mercury. They don't belong into your household trash, but they should be put into a bag and brought to a disposal center. You may remember that I used a pair of pliers to break open the ampules. Well, there's still some glass and the mercury, as you can see here, and we have to get rid of these glass shards. A nice and easy method that has proven to be extremely valuable is to place a bit of cotton wool into a syringe to fill in the mercury and to filter the mercury through the cotton. The cotton captures all sorts of contaminants floating around on the mercury. You fill the mercury in there and afterwards use the plunger to force it through the cotton. Despite its weight, the high surface tension of the mercury keeps it from flowing through the cotton by itself. While doing this, you should still carefully transfer the mercury to the syringe, because as I already said, it likes to splash. And if you rush, the mercury is definitely going to splash everywhere. The syringe is going to be used to filter even more mercury, I'm not going to clean it, and it will be placed into a plastic bag for future use. It might not look like a lot, but this bottle contains over 200 grams of mercury. With a density of 13.5 grams per cubic centimeter, this is to be expected. Glass bottles can't be considered a suitable storage medium for mercury because if you drop them, they are going to break, spilling mercury everywhere. So I always use the secondary container made out of plastic. And there you have it. Mercury from mercury tilt switches. It's always incredibly satisfying to shake this bottle because mercury makes strange sounds. Because mercury vapors are toxic and I'm storing this bottle inside and not outside, I don't want to run any risk of being exposed to too much mercury vapor. Therefore I also vacuum packed this bottle. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe in order not to miss out on any future videos. Bye.